you want to focus on net profits, not really gross, because it doesn't matter that you're making a certain amount of money. Like you can say, oh, I made a hundred thousand, my company did $250,000. We grossed $500,000. I don't care. That doesn't tell me anything. You can have a ton of money coming in. What is your net profit? And internet actually helps members make money, net profit, and save money by offering free stuff. So remember, the purpose of marketing is to turn down work, not to keep busy, not to work really hard, not to focus on gross revenue, but to focus on increasing your profit margins. So how do you calculate profit margins? How do you actually calculate what you should be charging for your home inspection? Well, we've got the answer. It's the home inspection business course and it's chapter 11. So you log into the home inspection business course and you go to chapter 11. Chapter 11, calculating pricing and billing. You probably can't see it, but it's this line here. So it's actually a calculation. This is a very basic, simple math calculation that provides you the opportunity to think about what to charge so that when that phone rings, you know that it's profit. You don't have to guess. You don't have to worry. It relieves, it relieves all that burden of wondering if you should take this job or not. When that phone rings and they know the price and you, or you give them the price, profit is factored into that fee. You're not guessing. It almost doesn't matter what your friendly competitors are doing because desired profit, what you should be charging is based upon your desired annual salary. What do you need in order to support your lifestyle? What is your desired annual salary. Well, how much money you want to make? And then how much overhead do you have? Are you working from an office? What's that? This, these are all the costs that you have to pay regardless of whether you do a home inspection this month or not, right? These are the costs of operating a business. And then your desired annual profit. 20% is a good target. You can divide that by how much you work. Hopefully that denominator, that bottom number on the fraction is really low, right? And then that will help you decide how much to charge per inspection so that you can enjoy that net profit. And you also wanna put systems in place that market for you while you're sleeping. So an online scheduler on your website is a great example of that. Your website's capturing people, marketing, sending out that brand, that message, and allows people also to schedule, sees your openings in your calendar and you capture their contact information. You can even capture their credit card to reserve a spot. Don't do things that waste your precious time or send you down the wrong path. Focus things that are towards profit. Ancillary inspections is one of the things that I'd recommend. Think about offering things in addition to your home inspection service. When it's time to grow, especially in the beginning or later on when you're scaling, you can do relationship building, you can pass out candy. Uh, my company was peach inspections. I used to go to the local farmer at the right season time, get baskets of peaches and deliver those peaches to offices, small offices that are not really attended to. They really appreciate it. And then, you know, stick business cards in the baskets and develop relationships. And uh, my idea was to have 30 real estate agents in good business relationship with each inspector. It worked out really well. They closed about 15 to 20 houses a month, those 30 real estate agents, and uh, my inspectors were busy. And again, risk. Profits are generated from taking risk. And if you can offset the cost of managing that risk, then there's profit there, right? So is the profit greater than the cost of managing the risk? If it is, then it's probably a good decision. 